and well, it's really no wonder because it's very favorable in hunt food, and that suits a lot of players and many play styles. Now you can see Oranos double Loki against Zeus Oranos Loki. Oh, so possibly another early fight in there. So let's check how AODs are positioned at the start. Oh come on, don't pause at the start, that's not really cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As to why it's not really cool, it's just... Why should we pause at the start of a game? Everyone has the same starting position. Everyone has to look for the hunt, so... Why do it? It's not really any disadvantage. So let's look at the teams. Uh, the Devil is having a very nice Aurochs here, so he sees them quite easily. and won't be disrupted in any case. Udem sees the, the hunt and he sees the forward hunt as well. So it's a pretty decent position for a Norse. Only problem, well, it's not really a problem because Apfe is his teammate. So they have third TCs in a pretty good position there. And the devil is third. Well, he can choose if it's this one or this one. They can choose with the Blitz, <laughs> who wants the worst one. This is not an okayish, not an okayish TC. It's vulnerable for, from the water. It's on a peninsula, so it's not really good defensive position. So there's gonna be a fight for this one, I would guess. And Blitz's position is also kind of neat. He sees uh, he found the back Orox and the back hurt, so he knows where to f hunt. As for Kiris, he also discovered the orcs, so he's also safe. And brief keys. Well, well, well. Yeah, everybody is pretty much safe on this map. Same goes for up. Let's check the relics when you have the time. Uh, the first one, two lions. Okay, useless. Ten percent villager speed, absolutely awesome. On the other hand. That's going to help anyone, be it for gathering purposes or running away from raids. You always want your release the fastest possible. Better infantry attack against titans. Okay, it can be fun in the later game, especially for Ati, when they have problems with getting heroes and some such. But not really great. And this one. Cheaper walls and gates, gate, not really game changing. Cheaper siege weapons, that's actually pretty great from anyone, for anyone, especially for an Eggy, which we don't have. So in that case, it could be useful for the Oranosis or the Zeus. Now this is the guy that is being scouted, so that's going to do some extra scouting for AODs. And plus 10% cavalry speed, that's actually pretty great. For any raiding cavalry, that's going to be doing a lot of good for them. This is Dots Spy on the, on the food release. That's a better placement because you don't see uh, where the release are and you can much easily disrupt the economy of your opponent with raiding. You can see Blaze is having some problems with this screen. And this TC is also in a, on a kind of peninsula, but it's not really problematic because it's inside uh, AOD's field of view and field of existence, so it's pretty much not okay. <laughs> That's just now really trying to figure out what they're going to play against AOD's. And as I said, from this point, this TC is pretty much safe. This as well. So the main fighting point might be this TC. 
because it's important map wise it's kind of middle-ish it's a third one for either of these players they decide to forego this pretty badly placed one or pretty badly it's okay but not really strategically sound <laughs> well that's a funny problem <laughs> Let's have a look if someone is actually preparing for some early advanced again. You can see that Apfe is not really preparing. Brief keys just now putting up temple. And Kiris as well. Now he's looking for blitz. Maybe he's going for some aggressive. Uh, not really yet. He's going here. Right in the middle, so he's going to push uh, to put a f aggressive temple here. Where is he? Yeah, he just built a second wolf and wanted to keep that for scouting. That's a reasonable thing to do. The AOD's Lokis are advancing through for city. A pretty decent time. Yeah, both are kind of okay. -ish. That's going to be sub five advance. Uh huh. Up is going to be at 430, and dots also 430. Yeah, he's going through Hermes. That's interesting. So they're pl he's planning for some kind of 2TC fun and blitz. Yeah, also up in dots will be a bit later. In the classical, it's not really all that far away. Shouldn't be problematic, really. Okay, another relic here. Forty percent villager hit points. <laughs> okay, and that's a stop sign to any raiding, pretty much. So, how are you going to do? Go about it. Yeah, this is going to go down even before it gets valor. And we can see Blitz is really trying to protect his base by walling up, just to be sure he doesn't want to be surprised by any raiding and some such. And, yep, Chris as he went, Hermes, he went for a second C very soon. Which is a very nice 2TC kind of boomish play. I would expect, yeah, he's putting up stables, so he'll be concentrating on some raiding and building his echo at the same time. Yellow is already uh, angling about Iron Bliss's gate, uh, gate. How is it called? Base. Yeah, that's it, base. <laughs> and he's successfully trying to disrupt the wall building together with Odem, so that's actually going to be 2v1 here if Chris doesn't join him soon enough. Brief Kiss is well established very well. Apfe is not really doing anything yet, he's just passing some Turmas or anything. Maybe he'll go for some right now. But the most interesting stuff is going on here in the middle. Middle Eastern part, where a blitz is getting doubled. And do we finally see? Yeah. We see Chris helping his teammate as he should. But as you can see, blitz is not really in need of any special help. He does have a decent army that's going to take care of anything AODs are putting up right now. And there's kind of a clash, yeah. You can see that AODC see uh, these food gathering villages as well. And that's why Odem actually went there. But he was repelled. And because he divided his armies, Blitz is now pretty much able to cope with this weakened 1v2. 
and we can see that Beefkiss is trying to do some raiding on the upfair here. Just trying to keep him busy, really. <laughs> well, upfair is trying to go the other way there. <laughs> Yeah, Aeody is still trying to keep these willies there. And they disrupted the food gathering. At this point though, uh, Chris will really be taking in the extras from his second DC. And will be putting up a really nice army there. And this could very soon turn from a 2v1 on Blitz on full-blown 2v2, a much stronger one against AODs actually. You can see that Blue <laughs> is already trying to find some a nice willy spot for Aiden. He's really not the correct one and he'll be needing a bit more luck finding the willies. And on the north we have an anti-battle. Apfa is winning at this point, thanks to a good use of Shockwave. And we can see that Blue finally found something nice, but <laughs> also he found something not so nice, and that's an army from Purple, <laughs> and he needs to go back really. Not much fun for him, but Apfa is really trying to push through into Briefkeys here. And win his 1v1 on this side, but not 1v1 any longer because Blitz is pretty much safe and he doesn't need Chris's help anymore. So Chris has just decided to go <laughs> and help his other teammate, and that's going to be the end of this trip for Apfa. It's kind of a difficult spot to fight right near the military buildings of your enemy. And he really just sacrificed all his army there. And that's the end of, of Afes army. And this will actually allow Briefkeys to go forward because he has quite nice Chero Ballista there. Which are going to, for are going to wreck any well, a lot of army from up there, really. When you have mass Cheroballistae, you have problems to go anything against that, because they are just pretty strong and the area effect really helps you. And how's it going in the south? Blazes actually has divided his army a bit, <laughs> and he's fighting against both enemies at the same time. Yeah, he's trying to capture the healing spring here, but that's that purple army is really too strong here. And but not here. Here is actually pushing. And how's the red? Yeah. Upfet tried to attack, but he was repelled, and now it's Beefkey's time to attack. Chris is really not doing anything substantial, so he might potentially be thinking about upping into Heroic. Let's check that in a while. Yeah, Brief needs to back up, back off a bit, so that he's not so close to the TC, so that the units would go there. But since he has Jero Ballista, he can actually pretty much nicely harass, uh, harass those willies. And he's winning militarily as well. Should really transport those really somewhere. But he doesn't have any safe gold. This is kind of open as well. Same as those two. And well, looking at Briefkeys taking the second TC. As soon as he takes this and has a TC advantage as well. Yeah, we can see that the devil went for heroic, so he'd be doing something, but at the same time, Chris is at 3 TCs and he's going to help Briefkeys really finish the deal here with Apfe. Another AOD is through Bragi. So is this going to help them? 
can see that at this point is pretty much 2v1 at the north, while Blitz is himself just taking on both of these south enemies. <laughs> hippies mm, Apfel will be pretty much without any in economical income right, not right now and that's a death sentence Rifki's build this second TC is going for third and actually fourth as well and we can see that Blitz he's just stalling here taking this forward TC as the important one I was mentioning at the start of the game and all the while Apfel is facing a decision should continue or just go. Yeah, his teammates just left him there. You can see there is some kind of maybe ish battle here, but really nothing against the DC. And this up phase pretty much done. You can't really stand the chance against all these armies. And right now Odem is trying to help but sending just two piggies here where Apfe is literally nothing. That's kinda not enough I would guess. And how's it looking for Blitz? He's trying to do something. Yeah he doesn't. Apfe is already out of the game. Understandably because he's really seriously out of the game. And all the while Odem has some army left. But they just decided <laughs> that no flaming weapons. This will be gone. So what's going to be the play here? Are AODs trying to do some fun? Or will they let Iron Blades take them down by himself? Or will they just go with the GG? Stay tuned and you'll see in a moment. Yeah, Armory, so he's ready in for up, obviously. That's going to be Bragi as well. And he's taken 3rd TC. <laughs> All the while, Briefkeys has set 4th and taken 5th. And quite possibly 6th as well. Nice Briefkeys and Kreese are just waiting there at the bases. While Odem is trying to go into the middle, but Chris is already waiting for him. Yeah, he was positioned well, so he found him. So how's it looking at this TC? You can see that yellow is actually in Mythic. But is it going to help him? I don't really seem so. Chris actually helped his teammate by casting bronze. Wow, that's not really all that much of a, of a help. DC will come down through this insane number of piggies. Now, you can see red. Oh wow. He just got all the dwarves here on the food. Well, there goes purple echo. How's it looking here? Oh, bunch of piggies taking down TC. Nice, nice, nice. From AOD. They're still trying. But this is just kind of a delay here. Those piggies will die. TC will go up again. And playing without an extra player. And having against you brief keys with 4, soon 5 TCs, yes. And you have 2. That's kind of a British way to die. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Blitz got repelled here. Pretty okay ish. It was a nice play from the devil who masked this army. And got enough mythical units to actually. Five piggies, yeah, that's very nice. To repel his Norse enemy. And how's it looking for Blitz? He, uh, this DC will go up soon. Now we can see some remains of Blitz's army actually. 
joining the fight here with briefcase. Interesting. All the while, Chris is just staying out of things right now. It seems he's just catching the running piggies here. <laughs> Trying to get rid of these pests. Yellow going for another TC. <laughs> That's a strategy they learned somewhere, and they really like it, AOVC it seems. That will be another TC down by the piggies because they are really strong against buildings. And what's up here? Yeah, they were trying to take down this TC, but they were already almost dead, so they didn't really do enough damage there. Yellow is finally coming to help. And yeah, the piggies are just taking down TCs because they don't have any heroes there. And it's kinda tough to take the piggies down when you don't have heroes. But still, it's just a nuisance at this point. And we have double with the flaming weapons to actually destroy Briefkiss's army but that's going to be replaced pretty soon maybe this is time for Blitz to go back, yes and actually try something himself he's not heroic though, so he doesn't have the flamey weapons himself to actually help him, so I'm not sure what this is and he's facing some throwing axe men here that's not really a good spot to fight That was probably some forgotten command or some such. And yeah, these piggies are gone and we have five Stimphal Emberts. Oh, that's going to be tough on ours. They don't have any useful range units, so they are always a problem. Odem is finally now trying to do something into the offensive. As Briefkiss was successfully repelled, he is at 40 Cs, but he's already, already, he'll be soon rebuilding his 5th and quite possibly the 6th and 12th. Well, he'll be ready to rain some damage <laughs> on his enemies soon. Right now it's going to be a double on Blitz though. And how is he going to defend it? Through towers, of course. Just stall the enemies enough, so that Red has enough time to go through Odem's base and delete this echo. Yep, that's the play. Mm, that's really an uneven fight here. But with the addition of those four towers, they might be able to do something, but not really all that much, especially when you see purple going down. He has some nice ups there, I was looking for yellow, also very nice ups, and Blitz has nothing. So yeah, but here's the red wave. Here's the October Revolution in its full strength. And Green joined in the fight right in the middle. Two champion Mirabidans with almost full ups. And that's going to be a Rakic and a GG for our AOD. But they have very nice plan. Had Apfe not been doubled so brutally. But well, that's why the other AODs were actually able to successfully <laughs> up so well and make some armies for themselves by sacrificing their teammate. So kinda didn't pay off. <laughs> I 
Uh, that's probably some kind of a mouse bug on Blitz's point. Let's look at the post game. Civilian units hide, yeah, Chris. He was the pocket. He was just going anywhere he wanted. He wasn't harassed at all. Besides uh, some piggies there in the middle. Adult beef keys, yeah, he was the military guy. <laughs> you can see why. Research countries, those are the cheaper ones from the Hephaestos then. And well, this is it. This is Dot B beating AOD 2-0 in the semifinals of the RDS League League Cup. And that means that they are advancing into the final. There they will meet either Virtual Killers, VK, or the other team is Keen. Let's see who that will be and who will claim the sole League Cup banner.